for the construction of the Badagri Sokoto Expressway to promote economic growth and development. With me are 14 other senators. My apologies, senators from Lagos State and Sokoto State have been omitted. For the record, they are part of the motion. The Senate knows that the Badagri Sokoto Expressway is a federal government road with which connects 12 states, Lagos, Badagri, Ogun Agbara, Oyo Abe Okuta, Kwara, Niger, Kebi, and Sokoto states at the national level, with Benin, Togo, and Niger at the international level. Also, in addition to being a Nigerian section of the Trans-West Coastal Highway Project, to link 12 West African coastal nations. Aware that the Badagri Sokoto Expressway was initiated as part of the fourth national development plan, which was commenced by the General Olusegun Obasanjo regime in 1978, but was abandoned in 1979. That is over 40 years now. After he had the overpower to allow his share of blessed memory. Further aware that the original conception of this expressway was a linkage road between the north and south of Nigeria and some West African countries through the Seme border to ease carriage of goods across the borders as it connects Apapa seaports and Seme land border as well as one of the largest industrial hubs in the country, the Agbara Industrial Estate. Cognizant that in the 2009, the federal government, in collaboration with the Lagos State Government, started the reconstruction and expansion of the Lagos Badagri part of the Badagri Sokoto Expressway from six to ten lanes, prompting economic development around the area but the project was abandoned due to lack of funds, thereby affecting the economic activities negatively. Further cognizant that in 2019, the federal government, in collaboration with the Lagos state government, resumed the reconstruction of the Lagos Badagri part of the Badagri Sokoto Expressway, but nothing is being done to construct the rest of the expressway assured that the road, if constructed, will boost food and agricultural production and connect these rural communities to major urban corridors, a necessary condition for improved agriculture value chain. The connection to urban corridors will increase off-season employment for rural youth and sustain youth employment and employability. Further assured that the proximity to the western neighbors of the country will improve cross-border markets and international trade and help advance Nigeria's commitment to regional and continental trade. And convinced that the construction of this road will add to the number of north-south roads enhance the durability of the roads, reduce distance, and help integrate the western flag of the country into national roads, and help integrate the western flag of the country into a national road structure, with strong implication for national integration and development. The western and eastern flags of the country are the least integrated in terms of road network and therefore the poorest using disaggregated national data. Accordingly, resolves to mandate the committees on works, finance, national planning, and economic development to join interface with the Ministry of Works, Federal Road Maintenance Agency, FEMA, and other relevant stakeholders to determine why the Badagri Sokoto Expressway has been abandoned for such a long time. Provide a permanent and sustainable solution or plan and report to the Senate within two weeks. I so move, Mr. President. Senator Amazon, Musa. 
Musa representing Niger East Senatorial District. I stand to support this motion wholeheartedly uh, because of its importance to the economic development of our country. It is a link road that will have now reduced the burden of the only one single road that goes through Jeba, linking north and south. So if this road is actually constructed, I think it will help free movement. It will also sustain our, the, the lifespan of our roads that have become unmotorable. And I will want to use this opportunity also to appeal to various governments to see how they can initiate a build, operate, and transfer methodology in this. Because that road is economically viable. So we can have investors that are ready to come and invest to construct that link road between Badagri to Sokoto and then put a toll. It will create another, another, another zo uh, economic zone for this country. Looking at the fact that Babana and the rest towards the new republic, a lot of businesses will be coming in here. So I so stand to support this bill wholeheartedly, sir. Senator Tolu Adebi. First of all, commend my good friend Sadiq for bringing up this motion. Mr. President, let me give you some historical background on this road. If you are aware, at the tip of this road, you have the Agbara Industrial Estate. This, this is an estate that consists of over 100 companies, great AAA companies. We have Procter and Gamble, we have Nestle, GlaxoSmithKline. All these estates are located at the tip of this express road. You also have the Opic Industrial Estate that is situated on over 8,000 hectares of land with so many industries. And it will be interesting to note that when this express road was being constructed, that was why Agbara industry was set up there so that a lot of these industries can move their goods up north. And that was the whole plan before the, the, uh, the road was uh, abandoned. Mr. President, I think if there is one road that this country needs to build, it is this Agbara Shokotu Express Road. I think it's economically viable. It's a road that can even be told and give the country the return on investment. I think it's a road that also enables companies to take their goods all to the neighboring countries, especially in light of the African Continental Agreement that, that, that we've also signed now. So it's a very, very vital economic route. It will interest you to know this is a road that also I fly, I go on when I go to my hometown. And the road is still relatively part of it that has been tied. It's still relatively in very good condition. You can drive for about 40, 40 minutes and you don't even run into any car and then and on a very nice, nicely tarred road. So it's important that the government goes back to this road, opens it up, I mean, be, uh, uh, make this road uh, viable so that a lot of the goods that, that are going on the express, they got the Bado Express Road, cannot be easily taken up, up north and then open this country up for more economic investment. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator. Very distinguished colleague, Adiola Solomon Alamilekon representing Lagos West Senatorial District in the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Mr. President, distinguished colleague, let me thank the mover of this motion because it's an all-important motion that is long overdue. Mr. President, what we are seeing here today has to do with the image of our country, the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The Badagri corridor of this road is an international road. And the state of the road as we speak is nothing to write home about. The government of Lagos State just this weekend set up a seven-man pan panel committee to liaise with the federal government on the state of this road. Mr. President, how can we imagine that the road that linked 12 states in Nigeria together Sokoto Badagri Road is an alternative road. The road has been constructed, but it was abandoned. Because if you drive on that road, you will still see, you will still see some tar and around that road. But there are portals that are there are portals that are not constructed at all. 
My colleague has talked about the economic importance of this food. How economic viable it will be to us. Imagine I drive from all the way from Sokoto down to Badagri in Lagos. Without going through Ibadan Expressway, Akure Delta area. And this is a project that I've started since 1978. 1978. If successive government has come, and if it is 50, 50 kilometers they have been doing by now, it will have been a completed project. And it will not be bad. Under the Buhari administration, if this project can be brought back to life, it is very important. I don't want to lay the claim or the blame on anybody, but it is right, it's the right time that we are bringing it to the table for us to start looking in this direction. That there is urgent need for the economic presence from the international perspective for us to attend to this role. Mr. President, distinguished colleague, this is road for Nigerian, not only for the Southwest, not only for the North Central, not only for the Northwest, but for the Southeast and the South South. So I have a call on all my colleagues to let us support this particular motion so that at least for once, we have an, a road that can connect us as a country, not only Second Niger Bridge, Sokoto Badagri Road as well will play a very important role with the same uh, importance attached to the Second Niger Bridge and other international road or uh, inter, uh, state road that are constructed. So once more, Mr. President, I thank the Prime Mover of the motion and I'm in full support of this motion. I still submit, Mr. Deputy. Distinguished colleagues, I'm Aliu Sabi of Lahi, Niger North Senatorial District. Mr. President, let me add my voice to the debate on this very important motion. As it has been said, the motion is looking at the western flank of this country from Badagri down to, uh, up to Sokoto. Uh, as it has been said, this road has a very long history. In those days, it was called the Egbado Corridor, and it was a very, very busy and bustling corridor for economic activities, which transverse even outside this country. And of course, like we know, the bulk of Nigeria's economic trade is along the West Coast. And to get into this West Coast, you cannot do without this corridor. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, as we seek to look inward for economic solutions, the diversification of the economy, it is time for us to take those very important projects that will allow us to take ownership of our resources. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, because of the neglect of these roads, so many sharp economic practices are taking place to the disadvantage of Nigerians and the Nigerian economy. And I believe having this road taken very seriously and seeing funding for this road, we give hope, like the last speaker has said, to the entire nation. Because economic activities definitely are not confined just to a group of people. All the roads that we traverse, when you travel through any road in this country, you see people from different parts. And I think the idea of this Sokoto Badagri Road is one that our founding fathers have talked about. And as it has been said, unfortunately, successive governments have paid lip service or no attention to it. I want to support this motion totally and say that, of course, when the western flank of this country is opened, as represented by the Sokoto Badagri Expressway, I think Nigeria will witness a very strong economic rebound. I urge my colleagues to support this motion. Thank you. Senator Bikula, Thank you once again, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues. My name is Ibikunle Amosu, I represent Open Central. Again, Mr. President, let me join my colleagues in commending the efforts of uh, the mover of this motion. Mr. President, this is one motion that I think is uh, very important because of the strategic nature of what it discussed. Mr. President, the road in question, just like has been said, 
if you look at the historical antecedents of this road, this is a road that is about 42 years old. Again, the way we are, we, we have found it difficult to even maybe complete the road or even do maybe about 20 or even 30 percent of the road. Mr. President, this road is one of the national strategic assets if we get our act right. There can be no development, Mr. President, if the infrastructures are not there. Infrastructures are the enabler for social, for economic, for security, indeed for development of whatever sector that you can think of. When the infrastructures are not there, economic activities will not be attracted to such places. In fact, social development will not be there. Our security concern will continue to be what it is. So, Mr. President, that road is not just any road. I remember as governor when I applied that I want to construct the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. I was replied that because of the strategic nature of that road, that the federal government will want to keep the road because it has security implications and so many other things. Indeed, if it, Lagos Ibadan Expressway is that qualified and described, this road from Badagri, that runs from Badagri all the way to Sokoto, is even ten times more in terms of strategic importance when you compare it even with the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. Mr. President, if this road is fixed, it will open the corridor. It will bring out development. Indeed, if you look from Badagri, even to Ogun State, if you see that corridor alone, what it will bring. And from Ogun State, when you move through um, Abiyokuta uh, to Igora, to the back of Isengu, like that to the back of Ogbomosho, like that to Kwara, as it goes like that to Kebi, to Sokoto, indeed, they will say that the shorter distance between uh, two points is a straight line. So what our forebears try to do is to create a road right from Badagri that will run straight until we get to Sokoto. Imagine if that road is there. Even the crisis we are having now, once a road is done, it will even be difficult for all of those uh, people that is, they call bandits, they call this, they call that, because easily people can track them. Mr. President, just imagine if people come out from Agbara or from the port and they can just get to a road and they will go maybe the next maybe 10 hours or so. They will have moved from maybe uh, Badagri to Sokoto. Imagine the kind of development that, that we, will have, we will have witnessed. So, Mr. President, I want all of us not to just take this road. This is another road that we want to do. Yes, I'm happy with what we are doing, what the government is doing with the uh, second Niger Bridge, with what we are doing in between Portacot and Bodo, with what we are doing in Lagos, Ibadan. But this is one road that cuts across so many states. Look at the, even the West African sub-region. Look at all of those countries that are back, bordered by all of these states that you've mentioned. This will open up our, uh, our commerce, our trade with all these, our neighboring countries, and even among trades among our states. So on that one, Mr. President, I want to support this bill, and I want us to make it as a point of uh, maybe emergency, even maybe supplementary budget, so that this road can be started immediately, and we should take glory that this night nice it. we are taking glory for it that this road is constructed during the tenure of this administration and during this uh, night nice Senate, Mr. President. Thank you. Senator Kabir. I wholeheartedly also support this motion. Um, and just like um, my colleagues at them, they've said, the importance of this um, particular corridor, both to Nigeria as a whole and um, in particular to, to Lagos State. <clears throat> now, it's also important that I also underscore the economic importance further, given that this particular road also links up our, um, the Tinkan Island port in Lagos and the Apapa port. And I think that um, when we fast track the improvement on this road, it will also complement the efforts of Lagos State Government that they have done from the point, from the, what is referred to as the first section of the road, which starts from the um, Igomu Arena up to um, um, Okukumaiko. So, um, I, on my part too, I wholeheartedly support this road, in, in the, I mean, given the economic importance that it will give to the entire corridor. Thank you very much, Mr. President.
Senator Kosova South. Uh, Mr. President, um, I remember in the 8th Assembly, we had talked about the concessioning of roads. And in fact, we had passed a bill in this chamber, uh, which went, unfortunately, it was not signed, assented to by the um, executive, on the need to concession some of these roads. And we were talking specifically about um, uh, economically viable roads. This road is an economically viable road and is, a, and is an ideal candidate for PPPs. Uh, but the problem we have is that the structure for PPPs is not yet in place. Uh, in this uh, Ninth Assembly, we have done the, uh, what the Federal Road Authority Bill has been passed, uh, uh, has been read twice in these chambers, and uh, the Committee on Works is working on it. I know that when, these, when this structure is in place, then we can have inflows from the private sector to support the public sector in building key economic roads like this. I therefore want to urge that all of us um, put our heads together to ensure that we put in place the framework that is needed in order to support PPPs in the road infrastructure in Nigeria. Because there are so many of these economically viable roads, uh, the federal government doesn't have enough cash to do them on their own. There is a need for partnership with the private sector. And that private sector partnership, or public-private partnership, is what will bring immediate relief to some of these roads. I so submit, Mr. President. One trillion naira equity. And uh, there are other contributors, like Africa Finance Corporation, uh, Nigeria Subway Investment Authority, and other sources of uh, funding. And I believe the only way to go now is to allow this road to be constructed under public-private partnership. And when it is constructed, then we introduce electronic tolling. People are willing to invest in road construction. All they need is an enabling environment. Mr. President, this Senate, and indeed the National Assembly, should come up with legislation that will make it possible for investors to come and invest their money in road infrastructure and make it possible for them to recoup their money. Government doesn't have to do everything. I'm happy with the recent development where this one trillion naira company is formed. Uh, just about a week ago, it was announced at the Federal Executive Council. So what we need to do is to purchase, you know, uh, 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 the public-private partnership very well, pass it, you know, and uh, get it assented by Mr. President. And if we do that, I can assure you, Mr. President, it will be possible for us to construct not only this road, but virtually all other important roads in the country. Road construction is an economic venture. It is no longer a social service. Most countries in Africa are now doing that. I don't see why Nigeria should not do that. So I lend my support for the construction of this road and I urge all my colleagues to do the same. Thank you very much. Is there anybody against? And there is only one prayer. No, let's take the prayer first, please. Mandate the Committee on Works, Finance and National Planning and Economic Development to jointly interface with the Ministry of Works, Federal Min Road Maintenance Agency, FEMA, and other relevant stakeholders to determine why the Badagri Sokoto Expressway has been abandoned for such a long time, provide a permanent and sustainable solution plan and report to the Senate within two weeks. Those in favor of this prayer say aye. Those against any, the eyes have it. Additional prayer, Senator Mamasan Musa.